fly selection for Euronymping. P.J. Bach guides on the Yuba as well as Lower Sacramento and the uh, Feather River and Hat Creek up in Northern California. He has a drift boat as well as Walk and Wade. Here he's talking about fly selection for Euronymphing. When you're uh, when you're Euronymphing, you know you're you're pretty much dredging the bottom. You're, you want to be as close to the bottom as possible, and, and that presents issues with flies. Um, general fly selection, they have that eye where. It, if you're jigging it or if you're ticking the bottom with a tight line presentation, generally it lends itself to turn the, the point down and it, it ends up snagging up a little bit more. So in Euronymphing, we use these jig style hooks that have the eye that bends back up towards the point. Um, because what will happen is when you when you weight that, it makes it so with, a, with the point, it'll ride up. So it will, it will snag up less. Um, so we're going to be using jigged flies for most of the day. You can Euronymph without jigged flies. It's okay. People do it. Um, I do it all the time. It just, it might catch up more. It might not drift the right way. It's still doable. Today what I'm gonna be using is uh, tide flies. I uh, tied this uh, sweet pea imitation. It's a betis imitation. Um, you know, it's the winter months here, so that's a, a bug that is constantly hatching. Um, we get a little bit of cloud cover and we get we get a little bit of blue and all the patch and this guy will match that just perfectly. Um, See if we can get a little bit of close up on that bad boy. Just a small Euro nymph pulled by the point. The next one I'm gonna be using today is, um, you know, we're blessed on the West Coast to have salmon run. And so once a year, these salmon come in, they lay their eggs, they die. Um, 90 days later, we have little baby salmons swimming in the, in the river. We call them alvins. These alvins, they look like a little fish with an egg attached to it. So that's what we're going to use as a jigged Alvin imitation. Um, just basic. I mean, it looks pretty simple to tie. It's just a little bit of a glow bug with, with a little bit of marabou tail and, and some flash. So um, that should be able to, maybe we'll be able to catch some fish on that today. Um, if not, you know, you can always put on an egg and, and they might mistake that as an Alvin. Um, there's still some salmon in the water in January, so you could still use uh, a salmon egg if, if you wanted to, to try and catch some fish, and it, it might be doable. Thanks to PJ for that information. Again, PJ guides up in Northern California on several rivers, both drift boat as well as walk and wade. So if you want to get some really good skills and, and understanding, PJ goes into a lot of stuff. He knows a lot about not only fly fishing, but the area, history, things like that. Check it out, and if you want to, to connect with him, I'll put his website in the post. As well as you can just contact us here and we'll put you in touch with PJ. Just shoot us a call, text, or email. And we'll see you right here next time on the Backcast. <music>